Hey everyone, Irit here and today I want to share with you my holiday 2018 wish list. So these are things that I don't actually own but I would like to and tell me in the comments what you are hoping to get for this year's holidays. Uh, also if you enjoy this video then please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and hit that notification bell to know whenever I post a new video. So I have my trusty list here. Let's get started. The first thing on my list, and I'm pretty sure I will need to get this, especially with the recent <laughs> Daniel Smith <laughs> uh, drama, um, and I'm talking about the Core 12 Half Pan set. So I'll put a photo here so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm not really into getting these pre-made or pre-arranged or pre-selected sets anymore just because I have very specific color preferences but I am curious about this set because uh, Core, much like Daniel Smith, till now only had paints in tube form and the tubes are very expensive except the um, sets that they offer those are really good value and i've also seen them actually now on promotion at jackson's just saying so i really want to try it i really want to review it i want to see how they formulated the paints i have to say that i have been using my daniel smith set and the colors perform beautifully. So all the colors re-wet really, really nicely. And I have been really enjoying that set. I moved it to a different palette because I can't stand having that leaking palette, but um, the paints are beautiful. Um, again, I wanna mention that two paints are always more economical than pan paints, but um, yeah, the pan sets are very convenient and easy to use. So I'm really curious to see their um, pan formula. Uh, core paints are beautiful. And I also want to see the color selection and see what they decide to go with. So I'll probably get this set eventually. Okay, so second on my list are the Sennelier oil pastels. Do I paint with oil pastels? No, I don't. I mean, I have pretty much everything. I don't have oil paints, but I think I have a set of oil pastels somewhere in my stash. I don't know, these just look delicious and I want to play with them. So if you're not familiar, Sennelier is a French brand and they actually created these oil pastels. I mean, not these ones particularly that I'm going to get, maybe. But they created oil pastels for Pablo Picasso and that just makes me happy and I want them too. And <laughs> the two sets that I especially liked is the, the I think the regular 24 set, it just says set of 24, because it seems like it has a really beautiful uh, range of colors, uh, lots of like bright colors, which is what I love. And then there's also the portrait set, which I'm very curious about. It has all these beautiful um, shades that can be used for color, um, color tone color skin tone and yeah I don't know how I would use them I mean obviously you just paint with them but I don't know I kind of want to um, get a sense of them if you have those then let me know in the comments if you like them and if you have a particular uh, favorite set that you've seen so I'm interested in that uh, next is a pen now I have a similar pen and I'm talking about the Sailor Feud de Manon, probably butchered that name. So I have the 55 angle one, it's a green one, and I absolutely love it. And I thought I would get its sister or brother pen, which is the 40, um, 40 degrees angle. And I just thought, you know, it would be nice to have a little bit of a variety. I have no idea, you know, how much a variety you can get with them but I would like also the idea of having one with waterproof ink and then the other with uh, water soluble ink because I do enjoy uh, having both options and the pen itself and the nib is beautiful so it has that angled nib now this is the like a, a cheaper option it's ten dollars I think on Amazon this pen and then I saw another one that is called the Duke 
feud nib fountain pen and that also has that angled nib which really gives you a variety in the thickness of lines that you can um, draw with these I think they are meant for calligraphy but I use them for sketching and that that pen I'm gonna put it here it's a little bit more expensive it's $29 I think and it just looks really pretty so I might get that I'm actually leaning more towards the cheaper one but um, yeah I really want to add that to my collection to have that variety with the inks that I mentioned so next I have two books that I would love to add to my uh, library of art books first one is the Jean Haynes atmospheric watercolors I think I have all of her other books and that's the only one that I don't have and I just really enjoy her books and her style. I've learned so much from her. She's definitely been a huge influence on my personal style. And yeah, I, I want to flip through those pages and look at the gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. And the next book that I'm interested in, it's a little bit uh, different in style, I would say probably more minimalistic. It's called The Spirit of the Brush. Chinese brush painting techniques. I'll put an image here. And I got, I discovered this book, I mean, I realized it existed um, after Angela Fair recommended it in uh, one of her classes. And I'm just really, really drawn to that style, even though I'm not very minimalistic, but the whole use of the brush and you can, I think, take a peek into the book. Um, it just seems like something very yeah it's it's very appealing to me so i think i will also grab that book or put it on my wish list and hope that someone else <laughs> gets it for me <clears throat> husband and when i was looking at this book on amazon you know you have all those related products that's the worst right all the good things that hide there so they also had um something that is called ink block 12 colors pigment ink stick set and I have no idea how to use these things but just looking at them makes me happy I'm guessing it's some sort of like water soluble ink I don't know if you paint directly with the block or if you can also um, you know grab the ink with a brush I don't know if you have these or you know what they exactly do then leave me a comment um, they just look really pretty and one of those things that you know as a collector that loves all the colors um, I would like to have them and yes I absolutely adore this sweater and the weather is dreary it's sweater weather so it's time <laughs> for flushy nice uh, sweaters and the last two items on my list of art supplies are the Silverline watercolor brush sword the quarter inch size and this is from Jackson's I think it's one of their uh, own brands and I have a few sword brushes but the bristles are very very long and I'm really I really really want to try this one um, just the shape of the brush seems like something I would really enjoy because you also get a lot of variety with uh, being able to create really thick lines and really thin lines but it's not as loose as you know all the loose goose uh, brushes so I'm thinking I will pick this one up and it's very inexpensive I think the quarter inch size will work well for me I might get also the the one above it um, the slightly li larger size but yeah that brush calls my name and yeah and then the last thing it's one of those boring things that no one ever wants to spend money <laughs> getting them but I'm thinking that this will probably save me a lot of money in the long run and I just saw this nice one on uh, Jackson's at Jackson's but I've also seen a lot cheaper ones on Amazon so do your research make sure you get something you know in your budget and a good deal and everything but this one I just saw on Jackson's so that's what I'm showing you here uh, I'll put a link also to the ones I saw on Amazon. I don't have these things. I don't know how they work. And this is the one I'm talking about is the Tube Ringer Heavy Duty Tube Squeezer. And <laughs> I just think, you know, if you use watercolor tubes or any kind of paint tubes, it makes so much sense to have such a thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure that I have tubes that I gave up on and had a decent amount of paint in them especially with watercolors where you know the good stuff the artist quality stuff is so expensive you really want to get 
every little bit of paint out of your tubes. So I think at some point I will have to get such a thing, but I'll probably search. I mean, the one on Jackson's looks really pretty, but it's also really expensive for what it is. I think so I'm gonna get that okay so now I have to include um, two things um, we're done with art supplies if that's all you're interested in thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video I'm going to film also today uh, a few studio essentials I know I've promised that video for weeks now but I'm I'm gonna film it today so that's coming also soon on my channel um, I want to mention two things that just makes me happy and one of them I already ordered it's not here yet, it'll be um, next month. Uh, I'm going to the US next month, by the way, in January. I'm going to be in Creativation in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, that's in the middle of January. So if you're in that area or if you are also going to Creativation, make sure you contact me and we can meet up. Isn't that wonderful? So I'm very excited. I haven't been in the US for five years I think so definitely definitely excited to hit all the stores <laughs> and of course meet all the amazing creative people I'm so excited I'm going to meet like all the people that I've been following and hopefully I won't make myself um, you know it won't be too embarrassing so anyway two things I have to mention okay so one it's this ridiculous sweater from the Sigwell I've actually um, tried this sweater on. This thing wears me. It's like, it's ridiculous. And yet I can't get it out of my head. And yet it makes me so, so happy. And I want to get it and I want to wear it on YouTube talking about colorful watercolors. <laughs> so yeah, I might eventually get it. I'll probably wait for it to go on sale or something like that. It's ridiculous. It's going to swallow me. And yet I want it. And then the second thing that I had to get is it's um, it's actually a subscription jewelry box, but I think I will only get this one month. And they just had like this month, it's the December um, kit or box. And I think it's their first one, if I'm not mistaken. You can have a subscription, but in Europe, I checked the shipping is so, so expensive. It's almost as much as the box itself. So I just, I couldn't um, justify it. And I will get that December one sent to my friend in America, in the US, and she will meet me when I'm in the US. So I can get it with, you know, without paying the international shipping charges. Okay, so I just saw this and Again, it's like what makes me happy. I rarely ever buy jewelry. I actually never buy jewelry. Everything that I own is um, always gifted to me. And yeah, but I saw this and I was like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for making such things. <laughs> so again, colorful rainbow stuff, but it's very, very like dainty and small, which is what I like. I really prefer a um, very small uh, jewelry. I think the bigger thing, the biggest thing that I have in my stash, in my stash, in my jewelry box is my wedding ring. And that's like the most chunky piece of uh, jewelry that I own. But um, yeah, so I'll show you some images here of the December box. And I'm not affiliated with them or anything. I just saw it and had to have it. And I'm so happy that I did. And um, yeah, it's just, I'm so excited to wear them. And hopefully, you know, I can wear them on my videos and you can see them. Uh, I'm sure the next boxes will be as beautiful because the designer style is really, really something that I like. Um, but yeah, this one I had to have and I don't know, probably I'll stop uh, after that. But I wanted to share it with you in case it's also something that uh, speaks to you and you know if rainbows make you happy and everything so yes that's it <laughs> and we're done so thank you so much for joining me please leave me a comment tell me what you think what you would like also to get what you're getting what have you already gifted yourself <laughs> for the holidays <laughs> and because you know there's no need to wait for someone else to get you what you want um, that's what I say anyway <laughs> so Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!